Are you worried about debt to GDP levels in the global economy? Yeah, yes, 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 very much. So there, of course, the recent COVID management has added a lot of public debt to the to the to the global debt. But before that, there was a surge in corporate debt, so debt by companies. And before that, there was a large growth in household debt with the um, the household mortgage boom in the 1990s and 2000 that uh, that ended with the 2007 crisis. Uh, at least in the Western world, that is where it ended. So mm-hmm. all three kinds of debt has been have been growing and that makes the economy fragile that means it makes the risk uh, of a financial crisis or the risk that with some sort of other crisis such as a war or climate problems that the financial structure will collapse is larger for instance the um so, 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 inflation. Sorry, don't, don't, yeah go ahead Dirk. based on this metric you are saying that uh, the global economy is more fragile than ever Purely based on debt to, to GDP. Uh, yeah, yeah. That I think that's a fair thing. To, so nobody knows the future, but uh, fragility means that we are worried about the risk of a collapse of part of the financial structure of the economy. Mm-hmm. And given rising inflation, unexpected shock due to the war in Ukraine, Ukraine, and especially rising interest rates, which increase the debt burden. Uh, yes, I am worried. 